human body is made to walk. Our bodies function better when we walk. We are healthier in many ways when we walk. There's almost nothing that we can do for our own personal health that creates more benefit than walking. Walking 30 minutes a day, five days a week, actually reduces the rate of people becoming diabetic by over half. We have an epidemic of diabetes in this country. The number of diabetics has doubled, and people with diabetes now use over 40% of the health care dollars spent by Medicare. We could cut the number of new diabetics by more than half if people simply walked that half hour a day, five days a week. The benefits of walking are so good that they are hard to believe. We are far less likely to have strokes, heart disease, and hypertension when we walk. Women who walk have a 43% reduction in the risk of stroke. Walking reduces hypertension. The body has over 100,000 miles of blood vessels. Those blood vessels are more supple and healthier when we walk. Walking is clearly what our body is designed to do. We resist disease more effectively when we walk. Walking cuts the risk of chronic conditions, and walking also improves our body's ability to resist cancer and recover from cancer. Women who walk have a 20% lower likelihood of getting breast cancer and a 31% lower risk of getting colon cancer. Men who walk are two-thirds less likely to have a positive biopsy for prostate cancer and a 60% lower risk of colon cancer. Men who do have prostate cancer who walk have a 46% lower mortality rate than men with prostate cancer who don't walk. Women with breast cancer who walk have a 50% reduction in the recurrence rate. Walking in adolescence cuts the risk of breast cancer in postmenopausal women by more than 60%. Our body needs to walk. We have better internal chemistry when we walk. We are significantly less likely to catch a cold when we walk. And people who walk that 30 minutes a day, five days a week, have a 46% shorter symptom time for their colds. Walking has shown to reduce the cell deterioration in the brain for people who are genetically at high risk of Alzheimer's. Walking actually increases brain health and the size of the brain for walkers over the age of 60. Walking can have a major positive impact on depression. Several studies have shown that walking 30 minutes a day, five days a week, has had a more positive impact than some of the antidepressant medications and has significantly increased the effectiveness of those medications. People who walked were also significantly less likely to be depressed after a year. Walking creates positive neurochemicals and it is the easiest health improvement strategy to maintain over time. Walking reduces the risk of blood clots in our legs and people who walk regularly have a much lower risk of deep bone thrombosis. It doesn't take very much equipment to walk. We don't need to run or jog or swim to get the benefits of walking. The human physiological need to walk is a basic need that we can meet by just walking. Walking strengthens the heart. Walking strengthens our bones. Walking half an hour a day has health benefits that exceed the benefits of losing 20 pounds. In fact, an overweight person who walks can have lower health risk than a thin person who is inert. The health risks of being inert are just becoming known, and they are considerable. Lancet Magazine and the National Institute of Health have all endorsed walking as one of the very best things we can each do for ourselves. The Harvard School of Public Health and the Mayo Clinic have saluted the benefits of walking. The medical evidence for walking is huge, and it is growing. The very best news might be we don't have to walk that 30 minutes every day in one straight period of time. We can break it up and still get full benefits. We can walk 15 minutes twice a day and get the same health benefits. Two 20-minute walks would be optimal for some people. So planning our day around finding those two 15-minute walk times is a lot easier than having to find time to walk the full 30 minutes in one uninterrupted time slot. We all need to walk. We owe it to ourselves 
to walk. We can be healthier and stronger and happier as people when we can walk. There are no magical cures or silver bullets. There is no guarantee that doing any particular thing will work for any given person. But when you look at all of the data about Alzheimer's and stroke and diabetes and depression, and when you look at the reduction in all of those bad things, it's pretty hard for anyone who cares about their own health not to look very hard at how walking can become a major part of what we do. Our bodies really are made to walk, and our bodies need to walk. We are not the strongest creatures on this planet. We aren't the biggest or the fastest, and we aren't the best swimmers. We can't jump very high, and we can't fly at all. But no other living creature walks as well as we do. Walking is our gift. Walking is our strength. Walking makes us strong. So hey, let's walk. Be well. <laughs>